I'm back. Uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned in the last one that <laughs> when people are around, it's hard to do it. And I probably could have done this earlier, but then I forgot. And, and then I was like, oh, it's only the middle of the day. But I was like, you know what? I'll just do it. So after going for my run, because it was that time of day, even though it looks fake. I also am wet because it was raining. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm back and doing it. Again, we're up to chapter 10, Revelations. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, chapter 10, Revelations. If we're not, we'll just go from there. Um, but yeah, uh, I will be home alone for the next few days, a lot of days, so mornings will definitely be a lot better. I will get on that. Um, and yeah, as you can see, the hair is not cut. Um, that was supposed to be on Friday, it hasn't been done. I'll, I'll continue, I don't know if you can do things. I'll check that before, and if you can still donate, if you want to, there. But mainly because uh, I, I didn't call the hairdresser until like Tuesday. Um, meeting the next available spot was actually on a Tuesday. Meeting, um, yeah, I'll be doing it next Tuesday, and you will see the hair all cut off. It will be donated. But yeah, so that, that is a bit unfortunate that that hasn't happened. Otherwise, I definitely would have been posting some sort of thing on Friday. But that didn't happen, so yeah. Revelations chapter 10. Let's get into it. The Angel and the Little Scroll. When I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven, wrapped in a cloud, rainbow over his head and his face like the sun, his legs like pillars of fire, he had a little scroll open in his hand. Okay, yeah, um, I've read number 10. The page marks have been put here. I was like wondering, oh, was it nine? It's like, no, it's fully 11. We're up to, okay, cool. Uh, Revelations 11, let's go. <laughs> the two witnesses. Then when I was given a measuring rod like a star, I was told, rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there. But do not measure the court outside the temple. Leave that out, for it is given over to the nations. And they will trample this holy city for 42 hours. Oh, no, 42 months. Months. Yikes, that, that's a long time. And I will grant authority to, to, authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for 1,260 days, clothed in sack. And these are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of earth. And if anyone would harm them, the fire, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. They have the power to shut the sky and that no rain may fall during the days of their prophecy. They have power over the waters to turn them into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they desire. And when they have finished their testimony, the beast right, that rises from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. And their dead bodies will lie in the street of the great symbolically. That is um, the great city that symbolically is called Sodom and Egypt, where their Lord is crucified. For three and a half days, and some, for some, some from the people's tribes and languages and nations will gaze at their dead bodies and refuse to let them be placed in a tomb. And those who dwell on earth will rejoice over them and make merry, exchange presents, because these two prophets have been the torment to those who dwell on earth. But after the three and a half days, a breath of life from God entered them. They stood up on their feet. And fe great fear fell on those who saw them. Then they heard a loud voice from the heavens saying, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud, and the enemies watched them. And in that hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city fell. Seven thousand people were killed in the earthquake. And the rest were terrified and gave glory to God of heaven. And the second, the second woe has passed. Behold, the third woe is soon to come. Yeah, that's a lot. 
there is a lot of death and disruption in this. And I suppose it makes sense. It's the, it's the end of the world as we know it. Um, it, it's the end of the world. It, it's supposed to be a thing. It's like, it's the apocalypse. It, 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 it is everything. And, um, yeah, just, just, it feels odd. God's supposed to be a merciful God, but I suppose the best way of putting it is they're not really dead. Like, they have the chance of eternal life. Heaven is still an option? I don't know. Ugh. It's also confusing and probably metaphor, but all of it just doesn't feel like metaphor. But it also doesn't feel like stuff, like the end was give glory to God. And it's like, Seeing and witnessing these th things, it's kind of, at that point, like, can atheism still exist? Like, I, maybe I get kind of maybe not believing in God, Christianity, but these witnesses happened. Can you ever say that God is not real? I don't know. I, I just don't know. Anyway, next part. The seventh trumpet. What? Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, The kingdom of the world has, come, has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who sit on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who is and who was, for you have taken your great power and begun to reign, and the nations raged, but your wrath came, and but the time from, for the dead to be judged, and for rewarding your servants, the prophets and the saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great, and for destroying the destroyers of earth. Okay, that just felt like... Um, Yay! Fabulous Bartis Bastard died. <laughs> yeah, um, so I think this basically says anyone who's going around killing um causing climate change, like you know the big oil companies, destroy their CEOs that only care about the profit, destroy people that only care about money and don't really care about the rest of the world and destroying the world or their ecosystem or anything, destroy because <laughs> they're destroying the earth. They're, they're, like, they're not destroying the humans on it, they are quite literally destroying the environment in which we live. Hee <laughs> hee! That would be fun. Um, anyway, um, then the God then God's temple and earth was opened, and the ark of his comfort covenant was seen within his temple. There were flashes of lightning, rumbling, pearls of thunder, an earthquake, and heavy hail. And that is the end of the eleventh chapter. Discuss, I don't know, it, it, a lot of death and destruction, um, some of it could feasibly be done towards innocence, maybe, but there's also implication there that, um, there's implication there that all those who are Christian are already gone, but like, also there's an implication that they're only had until once, so like, what if people turn to God during then, like, surely there would be a way of doing that, because God is a mess of God, I, I don't know. Um, it. The only thing I know is this isn't explicit. I would have done this earlier. Um, yeah. This isn't explicit. <sighs> How many more chapters of this we've got to go? There are 22 chapters, so... Uh, about 11 more. Eleven more. I'm gonna get that done in the next week. Oh well. Um, but nor will we get it done before Christmas. Oh well. <laughs>